CEO Ronnie from Create a Difference. A couple of Scotch Bright pads. We're gonna try one and we're gonna stand the bowling ball and see what happens. Get it wet. We'll do four sides and we'll go up and down four times. Four sizes, which you're going to want to do anyway. Help keep the ball nice and round. All right. Turn it to the side. Same thing. Flip it over this way. This thing is a four. Get a piece of paper towel right here. Dry it up. obviously been able to apply some service to the ball. The real question is, is how much? So now what we'll do, we'll finish drying the ball off, but we're going to go out and scan the ball and see what the surface is. Now one of the things that's interesting about Scotch Bright is it doesn't cut the bowling ball evenly. So because of that, you're going to have some grooves that are, that are deep and some grooves that are not very deep and every now and again you'll see what's called like a, a rogue scratch and that's because scotch bright doesn't cut the bowling ball evenly so you can see right here that's a scratch it's a rogue scratch i was talking about but anyway let's put this ball up here and check out what the scan is So that's 38.86. Let's do a couple more spots on the ball. Thirty-eight eighty-seven, and that right there means I hit a hole. To another spot. Thirty-eight sixty-five with a couple of weird spots. Let's do it one more time in that same area. There we go. All right, so it's thirty-six seventy-nine. But what I want to show you is this. So you have a couple things that are going on. One, there's a lot of variation. But look, you see this line right here? That line is one of the things that is the problem with Scotch Bright because. It's not even, so the cut isn't even, and you can get these weird swirl marks in your bowling ball, which honestly are not what you're looking for. You can see there's a couple of them. There's another one right there. You can hopefully see those in the camera. And that is one of the reasons why Scotch Bright, it's great for your pads, great for your pans, but not so great for your bowling ball. But now you have a little bit more understanding of how Scotch Bright works, how it cuts a bowling ball, and what it can do to you. If you have more questions or need more information, make sure you check us out at ctdbowling.com. Ronald Hicklin, CEO for Create a Difference. Have a great day.